This will be a quick summary of functionality in Simplicon, including some of the installation. For more information of each part, you have to watch the individual videos. First of all, you need a license key. Then go to our download page and get Simplicon. Then install it and run the license application from the tray icon. Here you enter your license key and register it with our server. Simplicon Grid is a system where you can connect to a centralized server no matter which client you're using. Here we see the admin utility to manage your jobs, assets, agents, and so on. Once you're inside the Simplicon UI, you can either connect locally if you are running the grid server, or to another grid server. The default login is user user. Here is a demo of the reducer. This is really just a classical reducer that will remove polygons from your asset according to the settings you specify. In this case, I just removed 50% of the triangles. And as you can see, the result in this case is really nice. Next is the remesher. This is a functionality that basically rebuilds the asset from the ground up. This is sometimes much better than a normal reducer. This car, for example, has lots of triangles and an uneven distribution. And as you can see, the result, the remeshing is much, much better and has smoother edges and so on. The aggregation combines many objects in a scene into one. In this example, I show it with and without the material baking, because the material baking would also combine the textures. So to the left, you see there's just one draw call, and to the right, you see only the objects have been combined into one object, but there's still many textures. So onto the material baking. This is lots of options as well. You could just bake textures to reduce draw calls like the other example. But what I show here is that you could also, for example, bake geometry into the normal map to save triangles that way. Simplicon also has a bone reducer where you can select different metrics and just remove bones in a skinned asset. The visibility functionality can help you prioritize which triangles you actually want to keep in a scene. In this example, I'm using the sphere to specify an angle where the camera will look from, and you could, for example, remove the backside of this building. The clipping plane is a little bit similar to the visibility functionality. You basically just cut out parts of the scene that you don't want, but in this case you could also use it to make something watertight. Here we see some of the Simplicon functionality inside Unreal Engine. You can just specify how many logs you want in the settings and they will be automatically generated inside Unreal Engine. And finally, here's a demonstration of HLOD, which is a functionality for automatically swapping LODs depending on the camera distance. If you need more information about any of these functions, you should check out the individual videos.